people who are ashamed of their jobs. I heard this on a radio, uh, what was that? Uh, the Breakfast Club. It was so interesting. Like some of the stuff I didn't expect to hear, but some of the stuff I de definitely expected to hear, but it's crazy. Like, like they said, you should never be ashamed of the job that you're doing. We had this one, it was one dude on there. He like jack off like pit bulls to get the sperm out of them for whatever use they, they need to like you were making money that's how you made your living of course that is i'm pretty sure that's not something you enjoy which he said he did not enjoy that but you know if you had to jack off pit bulls you know to to make a living that's just what you have to do like you know you probably don't want people to know about it and you're embarrassed about it but like a lot of people they they hide a lot of stuff i mean i'm not saying like you have to just go out and like make fun of it like oh i jack off pit bulls people are gonna make fun of it anyway but like people who are like delivery people um who did like uh, what, what did the lady say i think she like delivered pizza or something like that another lady another guy he did like postmates uh and then of course like uber and lyft was on there like people were embarrassed of that and it's funny because like i was on tinder right and this girl she was like like is she said is that all you do she said is that all you do is something like that like are you just the uber driver uh because that's what i had in my profile on tinder because i wanted to simplify because at first i put entrepreneur on there but then i was like people don't know you know i'm gonna get a million questions it's like let's go out and talk about it instead of having this like back and forth text conversation with a person i don't even know is actually even real so you know until you meet them but or facetime them or you know video chat whatever and then like I felt the judgment literally through the phone. Like even if I was Uber driver, like like and it's funny because I had an ex girlfriend that was, you know, uh unconsciously unconsciously unaccepting of you know what I did and what I do. Like of course, um, you know, for people who know me, that's not the only thing that I do, but that is something I enjoy. I enjoy doing Uber and Lyft. I enjoy people, meeting people and talking to people and vibing with people. I love people. <laughs> like that's just me. And that is one of my outlets, like, to to do it. And then also, um, you know, what I do is on like Tuesdays when everybody put their like boat trash out or whatever, people throw away everything. I've received flat screen TVs, I receive like the beautiful end tables, lights, just anything like, and I post, repost, I take it and I take pictures of it and I resell it. I don't keep the majority of it. And like, I even got uh, shamed for that. Like, you like fucking around with people. This girl, she says you fucking around with people trash on like, you know, every week I was like, yeah, like, you know, it's trash to them, but that don't mean it's gonna, you know, this high end, you know table and chairs is going to be trash to another family that's looking for a low cost you know instead of going like to a furniture store they pay like a thousand dollars and i can get it to them for like a hundred or two hundred like I, I don't feel like that's a problem i was like actually i feel like i'm doing something good that's something that a lot of people won't even go out and do is take this stuff even the people who put it out they put it out in the trash they didn't even take it and like give it to someone else or put it up where someone else can can uh can find it or give it away for free, you know, to someone. They just threw it out. And I take it and I post it. And some of the stuff I actually, I've even given away for free too. So, you know, because it was just nice stuff. And I was like, you know, I just sold a nice amount of stuff this week. I'm going to give away this stuff for, for the last of the stuff for free. And I even got judged for that. And, you know, when people judge you, really watch them closely or sometimes actually you just get rid of them right away because they're, if they're that judgmental you know after you tell them like how you feel about it like like ask them like why they being so judgmental about what you do some people have this thing about status they they don't they they're so deep into themselves they don't want to like feel you know embarrassed they want to feel like you know they have all their shit together which almost no one has all their shit together they're just trying to hide it behind their job and the stat the status in their job or what they do on a daily basis the what do you call it like the 
you know, they want to make their, their job sound all technical. And then, like, even when people throw their school out there, like, people I know, like, went to Harvard and, you know, went to Stanford and stuff like that. You know, not all of them, of course, some of them, you know, they throw that out there. They make sure that's known in conversations when someone first meets them because they're putting up these, these, like, fucking covers and you know you gotta peel away all these covers to actually get to the real them after they giving you this entire spiel when you like first meet them and it's, it's kind of sad it's really sad in a way but you know besides that going back to it, it's a, a lot of people are status driven you know when you see ceo when you see stuff like that because you know, or you see someone that graduated top of their class or, you know, the head of a church. Like when you hear stuff like that, they want you to think that they have their shit together. They want you to think that, you know, they're above, you know, everyone else. They want to look a certain way. And, you know, it's okay, I guess, to look a certain way, do what you want. But when you have to hide who you really are just to look a certain way you know to keep up this this image of you you want you, you want people to have this image of you it is pretty sad just be you you know it, it's not that hard it's not that hard you just don't lie about who you are and you know don't f let people just find out about your accomplishments you don't have to flaunt it and you don't have to make sure that that's the first thing that they know about you when they first meet you or you don't have to keep like like bringing it up to make yourself seem more sophisticated than you actually are. I mean, you may be like super fucking smart. Like that's great, but um, you know, you don't have to put it out there like that. It makes you seem really like I don't know. I don't even know what word to explain for it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need a smart person. I need a vocabulary, which I don't have. But, but yeah, they judge, like, people were getting judged by their jobs, and, like, it's funny, because this one girl, uh, and, and actually, like, I'm in the process of, uh, in, in the process of, uh, of buying a boat, and honestly, I didn't even have that idea until this girl, like, was like, you know, we talked about it, and she was like, what do you want to do, and I told her all my goals, and all my dreams, and what I want to do, and, you know, how I'm working on accomplishing this stuff, uh, and at that point, honestly, like, she didn't know, like, exactly, like, what I did. She didn't, no one really knows what I do. Uh, I give out bits and pieces, but, um, you know, I, I told her, and when she, she actually asked me, she was like, so, like, what do you do, like, during the day or during the night or whatever? And I told her a few of my entrepreneurial, uh, entrepreneurial things also, uh, too, but I also told her, I was like, yeah, I like to, like, I Uber drive, like, you know, that's just... It's, it's fucking fun like you know and i sometimes can do it for like hours and just like non-stop and especially if i'm vibing good with the people that are riding with me and she was like uber driver like you do ride share and i was like yeah and she's like and she kind of like went off on a little tangent she's like how do you expect to like do anything you know in your life doing something like that like how do you expect to move forward which again, she don't know anything else about me besides she just really got fixated on this. And I'm just listening and I'm listening. And then the, the date just kind of, it, it flatlined really quick after that because, um, you know, and I told a few more of the things that I, I do. And it, it just kind of flatlined like that. I really didn't want to be around her and her, her judgmental self. And honestly, I knew she was kind of status driven from something she said early on the date. So I already knew this was going to be like, the the what was we on the second date second and last date so when people you know try and put this thing over your head where they want you to be a certain person be you like fuck everybody else they ain't got nothing to do with how you build your future or how you build your um or how you build your life period just like fuck everybody in their opinions you know unless they have something positive to say or like constructive criticism don't listen to anything that they say I, I promise you it's going to be worthless so i'll end it there um yeah don't be embarrassed of whatever job that you're working get that money <laughs>